We've come a long way and we have a long way to go, but we are the greatest. At St. Peter Claver Church, which is one of three churches that is part of St. Martin de Porres Parish, the congregation is honoring Black History Month in Mass. We bring it into the Mass, into worship. It's a joyful thing. It's a day where we all gather and give thanks and praise to our Creator. Reminders of the history of African Americans can be seen around the church, both in its decor and in a special display. It's important to see um, where our culture started and um, how it has evolved and how we can continue to have our young people to really be immersed into it. But in recalling the past of black Catholics, the parish also acknowledges an important day for the Diocese of Brooklyn and its first African-American church. 25 years ago to this day, that's when this church was dedicated by the Bishop of Brooklyn. This church was built for African Americans. Uh, the first pastor, of course, was Monsignor Bernard Quinn, who built this church for the black community who weren't welcomed into the other churches in our diocese. He, as a white man, as an Irishman, loved the black people. And he said, I'd give my life for them. Monsignor Theo Joseph, the main celebrant of the Mass, also tells the stories of other prominent African leaders in the church, such as Sister Josephine Paquita and Father Augustus Tolton. He hopes that by educating the congregation on these important leaders, they will realize just how valuable they are in the church. Every Black History Month should bring this across. We are important to the church. We are an important part of the church. The Bishop of Brooklyn, Nicholas DiMarzio, is promoting the canonization of Monsignor Quinn. Reporting for Currents, I'm Katie Angusser.